So we will see the lunges. We will look at warrior one and the high lunge and the low lunge. Um, the ideas are always the same and actually often warrior one is a good modification if the high lunge does not work for you. And then the low lunge is a good modification if, again, the high lunge doesn't work for you. We will look at warrior one, high lunge and low lunge and we'll look at the twisting variations and the backbend variations. So warrior one, bring left foot back. Ideally, you want the front knee at a 90 degree angle. But you want to keep pressing back heel down and back outer foot down to squeeze the glute the left butt cheek forward and then you're pressing the right heel down to activate the right thigh and bring the right sit bone back. There's a lot going on. If you feel that, that you cannot stay square, then you can unbend the knee a bit. Because what we're going for is that left hip forward, right hip back so that the pelvis is facing forward, that the ideal hips square. And then exhale, bend the knee. But again, if you cannot go to a full 90 degree angle, that's great. You will get there one day. Just make sure that the knee doesn't splay out to the sides. You want the knee to be heading forward above the heel. And then you don't want the knee to go too far forward because we have to be careful of our joints. So don't let your knee go past the front heel. From here, you pick up the pubic bone, you pick up the breastbone, and you bring the arms up, elevated scapula again. So this is warrior one. Let's stay here for five. Press back heel down, back outer foot down, and contract the left butt cheek for four. Bring navel in and up. Pick up the chest bone. Pick up the fingertips for three. Again, press front heel down to contract the front thigh. And pick up the pelvic floor. Pick up the back bottom ribs for two. Press both heels down and pull up through the fingertips. Four, one. Twisted warrior. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Again, this may not be available to you. So a modification would be to bring the left hand to the inside and open up the right arm up. And if this is also um, a lot for you, then use a block and come higher up. But the Twisted Warrior that we're doing in our vinyasa is up here. So what you want to focus on is pressing the outer left foot down, pressing the left heel down to again contract the left back check. Stay here for three. Press front heel down to contract right thigh and bring navel to the left, chest to the right, left armpit forward, right armpit back, four, two. Press palms together and lead the center of the palms to the center of the chest, four, one. Inhale, rise up, press heels down to rise up. In fact, if you come to a high lunge, you have more access to the back hip. Yeah. So in this case, a high lunge could even work as a modification for the twist the warrior. So let's try that on the other side. <laughs> Bring right foot back, stay on the ball of the right foot and lift the heel of the back foot forward. Press front heel down and contract the left thigh. Press ball of the back foot down and contract the right back cheek. Again, close the ribs and pick up the pubic bone, pick up the chest bone, 
squeeze the elbows together and squeeze the palms together for three. Four, two. Four, one. Twist it. High lunge. See if you have more access now. Keep pressing back, follow the foot down. Straighten the back leg and contract the right back check. Four, three. Press left heel down, lead left back check back. And pick up the pubic bone up. Shoulder blades back, crown of the head forward. Four, two. Navel to the right, chest to the left. Lead the centers of the palms to the center of the chest. Four, one. Press feet down to reach up, high lunge. And then come to the front. So it's the same ideas with the high lunge and with the warrior. There's the tricky balance aspect with the high lunge, but then the square hips are easier with the high lunge. So that's something to always keep in mind. Now the last thing is actually the back bend. So the back bend, let's do it from the low lunge. And again, it can happen from any of the previous positions. Nothing changes from the hips up. So all we'll do is we'll bring the back knee down. So we'll change the positioning of the legs. Let's do the left leg back again. Press right foot down and lift left. Follow the foot all the way back. Exhale, left knee down. Untuck back toes. Bring shoulder blades down. Now here in the low lunge, it's safe to bring the right knee forward because the weight is distributed back, so we're not hurting our knee. From here, again, pick up pubic bone, close the ribs, pick up breastbone, and bring the hands up. Let's add the back bend. Interlace fingers and point out with the index fingers. This is called Kali Mudra. Squeeze elbows together, squeeze palms together. Keep pressing the feet down and inhale the arms up, up, up. And exhale, just the fingers go back. Four, five. Press feet down to coil the upper back back. Four, four. Again, press back foot down to lift left back cheek forward. Navel in and up. Chest up. Four, three. Press front foot down to pick up the pubic bone, pick up the chest, and pick up the back of the heart too. Four, two. Squeeze elbows together, squeeze palms together, and lift the fingers back. Four, one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. So these are the three lunge positions, and um, that's how you add the twist into them and the back bend to them, at least in this sequence that we're working with these days. Again, I hope that this was useful. What's very important is to keep everything <laughs> compact and strong. So you're pulling the pubic bone up to protect the lower back, you're closing the ribs, and you're picking up the navel, navel in and up, lower belly. <laughs> and up and everything is strong and the lower back is long and when we're back but then we're focusing on the upper back coiling and everything else is compact so that we do not collapse on the lower back thank you for watching thank you for watching and have a brilliant brilliant evening or wherever you are day bye